USC is mourning the loss of a beloved professor who was stabbed to death in his classroom. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live with more on how this man's being remembered. Jeff. Well, Paul, right behind me right now is the second of two memorials on campus today. As I step aside, you can see that a candlelight vigil is taking place right now. Students here say it's for a man who gave generously to everyone. Hundreds gathered around Tommy Trojan on the USC campus today to remember 53-year-old Bosco John. The professor, husband, and father was stabbed to death on Friday. The loss has been devastating to neuroscience grad student Hillary Dorton. Just the immediate hole that we all felt um, as soon as it happened. Police arrested 28-year-old Jonathan David Brown for the attack. Brown was a PhD student in the lab that John ran. Today, flowers were placed outside that lab, and a memorial grew in front of the building where the professor inspired countless students over the past 15 years. He was just so, so lovely, and um, he was so kind. Grad student Helga Mazar says she had a problem with her visa two years ago when she left the country for Christmas break. It was John who helped her through her three-month wait. He followed up with the USC administration and with the people in the embassy. Professor John was an expert in vision loss research, but Hillary Dorton says he opened her eyes to life because this renowned scientist would ask everyone to simply call him by his first name. You could talk to him comfortably about anything and and forget that he's kind of worldwide famous and a genius you know he would he would make you feel like he was there in the moment with you and and to help you and as you can see several dozen people are taking part in this candlelight vigil right now there are students as well as colleagues here as for the graduate graduate student jonathan david brown he is expected in court tomorrow to face charges and at this point investigators are not telling us what they believe the motive was pat